Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Daymare 1998. When we last left off, we had made it to the um, park, which has an interesting puzzle, which if you don't pay attention to it, is actually quite challenging. Um, there is a very specific... Ugh, another diary. I'm just, I'm so done with reading diaries, honestly. All right, oh, and it's an encrypted one. Oh, and it's a long one. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, very specific puzzle here. So, only a few years later, in 1939, the recession began. Tourism is falling sharply with the mysterious death of Mr. Ullman. The steamboats are abandoned and due to the innovative system of air and rail transport, the river shipping trade is slowly coming to an end. In 1944, as if this was not enough in response to the great request for enlistment due to the hottest moments of World War II, the community of the small town is emptied of its men. Almost at risk of disappearing altogether, Keensight now seems destined to become a ghost town. Unpredictably, however, in support and rebirth of a small towns that are playing heavily in numeric teams, or paying heavily in numeric terms and resources to the entry into the War of the United States, the government has a national program called Sweet Home Program. Right. For the reinvigoration, often barbaric, of the most affected communities, with the construction of new structures that support the population of the smaller, with the construction of new structures that support the population of the smaller population centres, close to disappearance. After a very targeted selection, Keensight is chosen as one of these, and in a few months the town returns to populate to populate again. Shouldn't it not be like returns to its previous pro oh, they could write this so much better. Uh, again. And to produce thanks due to the commissioning through barbarous and forced expansion of numerous plans for the production of timber and coal. Others for the treatment of fish, an underground freight transport system that transports goods from the riverbank to the more developed area of the town and a state-of-the-art hospital. The major work, however, the daughter of a huge and expansive work of construction engineering, was the uh, inauguration in record time of a huge dam that blocks the Bear River and generates the Maple Lake artificial basin. Destined to produce incalculable quantities of energy and offer many jobs as well as integrating perfectly with what had been a source of pride and origin in the name of keen sight the unique natural landscape that we will never tire of appreciating every single day lived in our small extraordinary town shortly thereafter thanks mainly to the substantial financial support of hexacor biogenetics and the government a power plant a drinking water treatment facility and works will begin on further link roads between Keensight and Canada. The Horizon Falls Trail, which passes right over the Lair Dam, crossing the river and then entering enters the forest. The road, however, has never been completed due to the lack of funds from the government and, above all, a substantial indifference on the part of Canada to connect a to a communication route so isolated and dispersed in the forest, translatable into one huge economic effort and uncertain return. All right, so basically nobody wanted to connect up to this small little hamlet. And it was isolated. So, the rub with this puzzle, we have these gates, or these, well, not gates, they're like these um, plates on the floor. And we need to rotate them into the correct order. Now, it's important to read everything here. So, if we read this, an old map of Keen Sight with. A highlighted section initially called Fort Vermilion. So, the founder of Keensight, he fell in love with his city since he had laid the first stone till the moment he handed it over to his successors. We celebrate f 
for the reasons that a rich vein of gold was discovered by our ancestors in a riverbed to the west. Our passionate wildlife hunters in the north have made us the finest merchants of hides and skins in the state. The sweet, sweet cider of our big juicy apples is produced and collected from the rich crops east of the city. A wealth of tourism and trade due to shipping routes of ferry in the south. His spirit will echo through the through eternity in this valley which has always served the heart of our community now what's important here is the north east south and west because there is four plates that we can spin north east south west now you would assume that the one opposite this is north the one over there is east the one behind us is south and the one to our left is west However, that's not true. You need to rotate this because if you read the plaques that are around the deer, for instance, a plaque adorned with a deer, the symbol of animal of the town who inhabits the surrounding woods, right? That doesn't really mean anything to us. But there's Fort Vermilion, right? That plaque is Fort Vermilion. Now, Fort Vermilion is up here to the north. So, west is actually north. And that really hooked me up for a while. Um, that was... That was a bit of an ass. And on top of that, what threw another spanner in the old works was... Um, uh, yeah, let's just say... Uh, let's go check this out a minute. Let's go check this out. So, this plate was bugged. Is it still bugged on this playthrough? It is. Because notice down here it says hunting, but the plate says shipping. This doesn't match up with what we've actually selected. Now, I was really confused at this because it wasn't working. <laughs> because I was looking at the wrong thing. I can't remember if the plate's correct or if the writing down here is correct. I'm pretty sure it's the actual plate itself. Um, so, yeah, that was a big problem. Now, I read a thread on Steam back in 20... I think it was 2020, might have been 2019, where the developers said they were trying to fix this bug. Um, well, we're now um, halfway through 2023. I, I guess almost four years later or certainly two years and some change later they never fix this bug so either it was too complicated to fix or maybe it wasn't anyway that description there told us what was in each part so Fort Vermilion needs to be hunting now <clears throat> it's already on hunting on the white text but I don't think that's right I think we need to turn it to hunting there which is saying it's shipping so if this doesn't work that plate still needs to be fiddled with so Colonel S Crackhorn who is up here Colonel S Crackhorn now he needs to be apple harvesting see how this plate in the text actually uh, matches up there we are So yeah, very frustrating, um, that's the Bear River, the Bear River is shipping. Shipping. Yeah, very frustrating, these little bugs. Because uh, in theory, this is a cool little puzzle, and the fact that that is off kilter, and unless you pay proper attention, you don't notice, and then obviously that plate over there is another added in unintentional fuck factor. Um, yeah, interesting little little thing here. So this should be gold digging. Okay, that we actually got it right that way that time. So the plate is correct, the text is wrong. Now, this actually leads us underground. Um, underground, into the sewers. My least favourite part of this game. 
I didn't enjoy this underground section at all. Don't like it. Don't like this at all. But, well, it's not awful. It's just bland and... Well, you'll see. The path to the crash site remains long and hazardous. After surviving the unspeakable horrors of downtown Keensight, Raven knows his best way out. And his last hope for finding the Major lies in a dense network of maze-like tunnels that comprises the city's water system. Yet the captain can only pray that the underground is not crawling with the same ungodly monsters that plague the streets above. Oh, but it is. Of course it is. Now, it is quite mazy under here. At least, I, I did have some difficulties the first time I played. Uh, now I've already run through it once. Maybe it's not going to be too bad, but... Let's get ready anyway. Evening. Hey, it's a red friend. And my favorite, like, diary, I think, is in this bit here. 71 health. Let's eat the uh, energy bar. God damn it. Okay. Can't get through there. Ah, letter to Doug. I love this letter. It's so stupid. You'll be damned to hell, Doug McReady. If I wanted to spend the rest of my life alone, I would have married a night watchman or a doctor or a firefighter, but no. I just have to get hitched to a fucking loser. A sewage worker, of all things. Are you and your boyfriends really so pathetic that you can't fix a leaky pipe? You haven't been home in a week, opting instead to parade around in that stinky hole. I bet the kids can't even remember your face. Father of the year material. Is that what you are? I bet I could convince them that the plumber is their real dad. Maybe I should call him up and have him fix some of my plumbing. I wouldn't be surprised one bit if you'd been living it up with some little skank ho. You'd be wise to borrow money from one of your stupid friends to get your ass home right now, or else you can stay in that fucking dungeon. Better yet, maybe you'll find a giant crocodile down there that actually wants a piece of your fat ass. With love, something I used to know, Annette. I like the way that that's actually written by Annette. I wonder if that's a little nod to Annette Birkin, and I like the way um, they reference a crocodile down here. I'd like to think that's a nod to Resident Evil 2. Yeah, this this uh, letter here, it, it reads like it was written by a, a 13 year old. Uh, I'm not really sure why the postman brought a letter like this down here. Um, doesn't seem to be the sort of letter that would have been left at this dude's breakfast or something. And, you know, pfft. I'm I'm pretty sure she knew he was a sewage worker when she probably met him and at least he's going to work and you know to I don't know I, that letter's just fucking it's one of the funniest dumbest shit things I've ever read and I'm here for it anywho let's continue exploring oh, let's turn our light back on probably a reasonable idea yeah so uh, I'm curious to see if this is still as confusing as it was the first time I came down here I'm pretty sure to be 100% honest with you I don't actually think it's that complicated but I'm thick oh hello right there pal sort your fucking problem out no time to be pissing around with you. Or maybe there is. Sit the fuck down and shut up. He's had enough. He's had enough. Alright. He's twitching. He's twitching. I don't think he's going to get up again, though. So, let's go explore this stinky hole a little bit, shall we? See if we can't have a good route around. Down in this underground. 
Hey, we've got some shotgun shells. Only four, but you know. That's four more than we had. Yeah, he's definitely down. Surprising sometimes how long it takes those guys to get up. Oh, God. That has to be the worst thing I've ever smelled. Are you sure? It's something to clamp my damn nose. Stop being a bitch. Okay. Yeah, this place is a freaking mess. I don't like it. It's closed. I just never found this place very fun to explore, you know? Unlike the rest of the game. Knock, knock. And we got another cable. Oh, we got another uh, doodad device there. Which is always nice to have. So, probably don't need that. Um, uh, you know what? We'll drop that back. Didn't want to do that. We'll have you. We've got plenty of bullets. We could always dump the bullets out of that magazine and keep them with us. Uh, so we've got 80. We've got 26 shotgun shells total. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're all right. <laughs> we're fine. Okay. Let's mix up those guys. Don't think there's anything else of any particular note in here. Okay. So that leaves us with one option. I guess we're going up. Now there's certainly some weird things down here. What's the bet and he's going to get up? Yoink. And we're, oh, we were almost stuck. Yep. Of course he did. <laughs> Better hold on to something, dude. Looks like the ground is moving beneath you. Now, is he going to get back up? That's the question. He may do. Oh, he's getting back up then. you got to be careful as well, because these guys don't actually make any sounds. But that's okay. Definitely need to be careful here. Because I remember, I remember you being a sneaky little git. Come on. There you go. Return to the filth from whence you came. Alright. Can you see, like, you know, we're over halfway through the game now and this, like, dual reload mechanic thing has just not been important at all. Whilst I choke myself to death. But through all of its bugs and its flaws and its just weirdness. Um, it's an enjoyable game to play. It, 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 I'm not taking the piss, guys. It, It's fun. I think it's that like Resident Evil kind of like gameplay loop. Or at least, should I say, the new Resident Evil gameplay loop. It's all right. At least I'm having a good time with it. It's just the story. Oh, we got some enhanced bullets there. It's just, yeah, the story is kind of... I don't want to say it's bad because it's just generic. It, It's not really like the, the story or anything that's bad per se. It's just the way it's written. That's what's kind of poopy. And again, the characters as well. I think this game would have had better success if it tried to come up with something original. Instead of having like the generic Umbrella Corporation 
Um, obviously, you've got the generic Umbrella Corporation mercenaries because, of course, you have. Uh, they they just could have been a little bit more original with it, maybe. But like I say, for what it is, it's fine. Anywho, we have barrels. All these barrels that we've been seeing everywhere. Looks like they contain BOWs. Oh no. Oh my. Hello. Didn't go so well for you, did it? Thought I'd hear another one. How's that? Like good? You want some more? Hey, he's had enough. He's had enough. Piece of shit. Ah, oh, what? We can't even slap him around a bit. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's have a little look around. Whoop. It's closed. Well, I guess we're not going down that way. Now, pay attention to that, because that's an optional thing that we can get back to later. Alright, he's done. Yeah, there, fella. What are you doing? Playing with the valves. Well, that's okay. I don't want to take your valve fun away from you. Something is blocking the gate. Well, let's see if we can't sort that something out. Shall we? Alright, so. Now, uh, we know this is kind of the correct way to go. Let's go back and have a little peep. And see what we can find back this way. No, that was fine. I'm sure there's another little room up here somewhere. Can't do sweet FA there. Not at the moment anyway. Now I actually do have the demo to the second game downloaded. I actually downloaded it like ages ago. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. Maybe we'll do that after this. All right, we got a few little Brucey bonuses. Ah, uh, lots of shotgun shells. Lots of everything, really. All right, that's cool. Whatever game, whatever. Oh, it's closed. Stay frosty. Stay frosty. You never know. You never know when these mutant bastards are going to jump out at you. Well, I mean, you could, because uh, they are 100% definitely all scripted. There's no randomness with it or anything like that, which is fine. You know, it doesn't have to be any scripted, uh, any rando gubbins. <coughs> Yeah, there, buddy. You good? I'm going to take your shotgun shells. I hope you don't mind too much. You don't have anything for me, I guess. Let's beep the boop. And we did a thing, so you know what that means. <gasps> Hark! Not zombies! Come on, little man. Step this way. Should we be scared? I mean, I suppose. Come on, while we're young. Honestly. You good? His little hat came off. Bless him. Right, sleepy time for you. Are you getting up? You are getting up. Are you both getting up? How about that? Well, you're dead. Are you both dead? <laughs> like you can't be scared. I mean, come on, guys. Like, I know I don't get scared of games often, but <sighs> at all, really. Every once in a blue moon, a game might make me jump. But I mean, come on. Anywho, let's get out of here. So 
So this is actually like the second part of the sewers. Kinda. Actually moving through the sewers pretty bloody quickly, if I'm being honest. Oh, Jesus! You alright there, friend? Good. You alright there? Fuck me. Alright. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> it's just so wacky. It's so bonkers. Alright. Close combat. Close combat. Alright. We need to be coming back here at some point. Find a way to drain the water. Well. Alright. I'm sure we will. Oh, nice try. Would have been more effective if I wasn't holding a shotgun in my hands. So, we've got some more bullets. Got an energy bar. How much health do we actually have? 95. There's no real point in using an energy bar. And we're back up to 27 shotgun shells. See what I mean, though? We're not really uh, sparing ammo, or... How should I say? We're not really trying to save ammo. Uh, we just have, like... The game gives you so much. We don't need to go that way, do we? Now... Always forget where some of the trigger points are. All right, we're okay. Because they do like to throw those big, ugly bastard zombies at us. Which is fine. But they don't like shotguns. You all right there, friend? There you go. There's that, um... PlayStation that Nintendo PlayStation which I actually quite like that it's quite a cool little Easter egg okay hey red dead's back it's blocked what's it blocked by got 20 handgun bullets 20 uh, right. Sewer inspector. Oh. I've been shut in here for hours. All because some idiot locked the front door and now I can't leave. I wonder if something like this even happens and if, if my wife and daughters are all right. I feel so powerless. Trapped in here like a rat in a cage. The only thing I can do now is try and evade those nasty, unspeakable things that everyone is turning into. At first, I thought they were just some experiment the company cooked up that got out and bit us in the ass, but I know for certain I recognize Morton among them. Kind of ironic that I got entangled in the same gooey web I helped to weave. <sighs> Maybe it's the price we have to pay for what we're doing here. Possibly, sir. Possibly. All right, uh, so we've got some more Mentats. Uh, you know what? Smoke them if you got them. Right, okay. I don't know if you can actually do anything with that. It's blocked, I don't think so. This is an achievement if you search it. you got to be kidding. The Aurora Project. If it had not been for that fucking thing, I wouldn't be stuck down here trying to escape from these goddamn monsters. Yeah, I could have piloted one of these if only I hadn't. Yeah, hadn't what? I'm sure we're going to find out one day. Probably in the sequel. You know what? This, um... This bloody section... Isn't that long, actually? You're right, dude. 
Not for you. Okay. These goddamn pipes are over 50 years old, but nobody seems to give a damn about it. It's like they're waiting for an accident to happen, just like the one we had here last week. Maybe it's more convenient for them to start repairing things after the fact, to keep workers trapped underground, because otherwise they'd have to shut the city's drinking water off, and that's not something they want to do. The important thing now is solving the problem and getting the system back on track. Joint 19 fell apart again, and I'm not surprised because we've been using spit and gum to try and keep it together for years. The problem is that we can't lower the water pressure before a ton of water flows into the underground levels. Flooding several areas, it takes days to pump the water out with 20 hour shifts for each team, yet we're still expected to complete our daily tasks as well. To make matters worse, I'm afraid that the drainage system is going to get fried due to overuse, so much so that I've put in the order for a new circuit board for the three main tanks, which seem to be burning out really quickly. And as even one of these tanks goes offline, the whole system goes with it. I'm starting to think that nothing this fucking hole works properly. Well, I better hurry and get the system back online before everybody quits and the company blames me for another one of their mistakes. Well, it doesn't sound good, does it? it really doesn't sound good. Hmm. Looks like we need a battery or something. Did we not find a battery or something? Hmm. What did we actually achieve by coming all the way back here? Sure. We know we've got to get the... Ah. Can't do anything with that. Okay. We've got to be another area somewhere that we haven't got to. There's a slot in which a battery can be set. There is. And we do need a battery. Alright. So maybe. Just maybe. We're going back. Ha! It's like literally a little terminator there. It's so cool. Alright. So, where haven't we been? Um. I guess. Did we go down there? I don't think we've been down here yet, have we? We have been down here, haven't we? Because this one is locked up. And this one... Maybe... Just maybe we've missed something somewhere. Um... items have we got on us? Ah, we got the key. Yep. I remember. I remember. We picked up the sewer key. I remember things about stuff. Don't you worry about it, guys. Question is, where was that? Out and around, I think. Down this way? was not down this way. This map is kind of annoying, to be honest. It's really not that great. Um, for instance, it's showing us that we're... That is not what we've got the key for. Oh, it is what we've got the key for. Oh, right. Don't worry, guys. I'm just sick. Hello. Hello. You did think I forgot about you, didn't you? Honestly. Zombies these days. Yeah, I was going to say, I know there's something that we have we haven't done. Because the enemy that should have spawned around here has not. 
So that's a genuinely good indicator that something hasn't been accomplished. <clears throat> so, how's the weather? The weather here was terrible today, at least this morning. It pissed down with rain after the forecast saying it was going to be a lovely sunny day. Who was wearing a t-shirt? Me! I didn't even bother with my waterproof gear because there was no point. Ah, we've hit a checkpoint here, guys. Because we've hit a checkpoint, I'm going to call the video because it's 9 o'clock at night and I have work again tomorrow. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I really am. I mean, you know, I've played this game now almost through twice back to back. And I'm having a blast with it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.